Right, welcome to Anything Goes this week. We're trying something new. We've got a new software package that's going to be doing our recording, which means we'll be back to our old standard of flicking switches, pressing buttons, and hoping for the best here at Anything Goes. And to start us off in this new fangled bit of technology, we're going to play a song called Language by Mind Chatter. I'll give you just a bit quick backstory as to why we're using this bit of technology. It's so we can live stream in the future. Is that something that you're interested in? Let me know. Um, otherwise, here we go. This is Language by Mind Chatter. Right, that was language by Mind Chatter. I really have to be much more on the ball with this system. Yeah, just an observation. I've got to be focused at all times, ready to jump in. Everything's happening in real time. There's no way to go back and change the history of the show, which is a bit of a worrying thing because as I've been normally recording the shows, it's, yeah, I've removed a fair amount, so... It will save me time in the long run, though, so that'll be fun. That'll be good for this. We're on the ninth week. Can you believe that? The ninth week of Anything Goes. We've been uh, eh, having an alright time of it here in Singapore over the coronavirus period, as many of you know it is right now. Some of the countries are opening the availability up to, to leave some of the houses. Singapore has is, is implemented similar tactics for people who are in essential services now to go back to work. Most of us are still working from home, but there are now a few people who are able to go about the standard regular jobs. So we'll see what 
effect that has on things. I don't know. It's impossible to judge. I think it's we're all hoping that we all get to go back to work. Well, not back to work, but, you know, leave, leave the house and see our friends and do all those things. But anyway. Let's see what the next song has in terms of musicality for us. This is I'd Have Killed For You by Steli. Steli, there you go. We'll get it playing for you. You'll hear the mouse clicks which is, as well, which will be a bit weird. You were my rocket man and flew away to Right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. As a side note, I've I've now invested in putting my microphone on top of a frisbee on top of a roll of tape in order to get it to the appropriate height to do the show. And I was really thinking, you know what? Maybe I should put a PSA out about the ergonomics of where you're sitting. Uh, maybe just have a think, have a stretch, move your back a bit. A lot of a lot of people I'm finding are just, well, I say I'm finding, I haven't talked to anybody really about this problem. But in my preconceived notion, I imagine a lot of people are sort of slumping over in a, in a, in ergonomic position. So just give this second to sitting up straight and yeah, improving your your posture and your setup. Maybe you're sat by a computer. Is your screen uh, a fair distance away from you? Hopefully it, that would be the case. Most people recommend something like an arm's length for, for vision. I don't really know why it makes any difference. Surely something that is close would, would have just as effect as something that's far. But this is something I do not know. So consult your scientific expert for more information about that. Yeah. 
we're, we're also, as a, f a fun little side note, in the Mannings family, the, the, the nature has come out to play a bit with this coronavirus. Everybody's taking photos of these ultra-rare animals, sightings. So we saw an alligator in Singapore, not too far off the coast. All sorts of things being spotted. And in our house, much the same, we're finding... We found, we found a, a mouse slash rat who's made it up 16 floors of our apartment block. Must be very desperate for food. I don't really know how it got up here, really. And we've got a hornet's nest or some sort of bee nest or I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I think it's hornets. So, yeah, nature's really coming out for us. I don't know what we'll have next. We've seemed to have dealt with the problem so far. Um, but between Dad and I, we'll... we'll uh, We'll battle anything that comes up, unless it's bigger than maybe kind of a, a foot, and then we'll probably just leave it to, to a professional to deal with. We once had a cat, some just random cat entered our house. That was a novel experience. It wasn't even, a, our next door has a cat. It wasn't that cat. Just a random cat from somewhere in our block. So yeah. On the, there's a bit of a randomness to the next song, actually. I've... I was going to play it last week. I thought about it. Actually, I'm not sure why I thought about it. But I listened to it this over this last week. And as I was doing my washing up, actually. And I thought, you know what? This is quite a nice song. And so here we are with Joy. Bracket. Wouldn't that be good? Close bracket. By Joy Anonymous. And Elise, my niece. So, yeah. There you go. Hand. Are you gonna hold my hand? Okay. Okay. Um, you got green today. Green today, yes. Like, you got no more pink. No more pink, only a little bit. Yes. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, are you very happy? I'm very happy. Come on. Oh. Have you got a dog? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be good? 
Right, there are two buttons I have to press at the end of every song. I wish there was a way to just end the song at the end of the song, you know, in Spotify. Turns out there isn't. I'm playing the music out of Spotify. I haven't really come up with a better method. I guess one method would be to pay for all the music, but then again, I don't really get anything from paying for all the music. I'm kind of glad that YouTube will let me upload all this music associated with my show to their website and not take it all just down. So kudos to them um, and the huge multimedia conglomeracies that own the music that all uh, that's being played. I think, yeah, everybody seems to be getting a penny from it, all those those 10 views it's really really life-changing sort of stuff for these uh for these musicians you never know eventually it, it might make it big you never know but coming up on the tunes side of things you remember 10 fee do you remember do you remember 10 fee that's the real question most of you probably not he, they had a song called Super Rich. Nice song, good song, good song, but a while ago now. That was, that was PC, pre, pre-corona. That was, that was in August when I uh, did, did my show then. But anyway, now they've come out with a new song since, since August. And so this is that new song. It's called Nothing Breaks like a heart. Oh, that's a that's a strong visual. Nothing breaks like a heart. I heard you on the phone last night. We live and die by pretty lies, you know where. We silver bullets, cigarettes, this burning house, there's nothing like that we fall apart we're broken broken ain't nothing 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 gonna save us now nothing this broken silence by thunder crashing in the dark this broken record spins in the
That's a weird sound, isn't it? I'll play it for you again. Any ideas what it is? Hashtag send a sound, as we all know. Um, that That is a, a metal can that I'm also calling a, a work of art. I kind of got a bit bored. I um, cut some slits in a can and then put, then, uh, yeah. Then kind of push the, the ends of the can together. And now it kind of looks like a weird, like, lamp or a lantern. But it makes this cool sound. Yeah, so that's that's the story of that latest uh, achievement. I'm just racking up achievements, really, over this coronavirus period. Just, uh, yeah, got done a lot. Done a lot. Yeah. I'm not sure either. I'm not sure either. I'll tell you what I have done a lot of is watching TV. We're, we're doing a lot of that. Uh, what else have I done a lot of? YouTube. Ah, I'll tell you what. Here we go. Here's, a, here's an interesting one. So, last night, I'll tell you what I found that's going to be very binge-worthy into the future. I'm going to put this down. It's going to be very binge-worthy into the future. Portrait Artist of the Year, BBC TV. God, I mean, I mean, it, it's it's almost like I really want to get into portrait painting, and I never never thought that's what I would want to do with my life. I quite like taking photographs, but painting it's a whole different thing of people's faces. But it's some somehow quite capsulating, cap, capturing, cap, yeah, one of those words, and so, yeah, I've been, I spent, spent the best part of two hours over the last, I don't know, half a day, watching people paint portraits, I guess it's like the pottery show, Thro pottery throwdown or something like that, I'm not sure what it's called, I also watched that, uh, in case you're worried, that I have too little time. Um, got got enough time to watch to watch those things. Keep up to date, you know. Can't can't be can't be stuck behind on on those important issues. I hope you guys have found something else to entertain yourselves, other than a little bit more productive than what I've been able to achieve. But if not, then I, I recommend that you watch the Portrait Painter of the Year. Um, is my, my TV show reference for you today. And, yeah. Genevieve Stokes has come up with a, a song. And that song is called Surface Tension. And so we're going we're gonna to play that. Stays in this town that I forget. But I just keep on moving. There's no point in losing. I just keep refusing. Oh, I just keep on proving. Nothing is quite true and everything is fluid. i 
Right, that was Surface Tension by Genevieve Stokes. So over this period that I've, I've mentioned previously, the coronavirus period, for those of you who are struggling, all these artists seem to be coming out with all sorts of new renditions of the same songs. And also actually new songs. They're doing pretty well, our artists, over this period. Seems to lend itself to... to holding people down and actually getting stuff done I don't know I'm unsure if that's the case in a lot of cases but Western Man certainly has been busy creating a song called Confirmation it's it's surrounded in bracket there's a there's a word surrounded in brackets and the word is SSBD, and I don't for the life, I can't for the life of me work out what it, what it means. I think it's something like stripped, semi-stripped, backed, semi-stripped back directive or some. Let's go with that. Let's just yeah, let's just claim it. So this is the confirmation. The semi-stripped back directive by Westerman. i 
Right, that was confirmation. The stripped backed, no, the semi stripped back directive version, as we've come to learn through guesstimation. Yeah. Uh, how is how's everybody's Saturdays going? Mine's mine's about I don't know three quarters of the way through. No, maybe not. Nope. Probably about half. Probably half the way through. It's been good so far. It's been good. I haven't done anything. What have I done? I had planned to do stuff. And then... Uh, then I did this. To be fair, this is doing something. Oh, I'll I tell you what I did. I uh, did some cleaning. That was good. Did some cleaning. Oh, going back to the song. I'm not sure about the song. I'm not sure. I like the old version of the song. You know that that thing that people say about people not liking change. I think that that rings true for this this song. In this the 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 bridge the 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 verse not just not quite as catchy. The the chorus is not quite as good. And so I, yeah, I'm a, I guess I'm a bit disappointed with myself. That I didn't just play the real version. But hey, maybe somebody out there likes this version. And it's the first time they've heard it. And they they much prefer it. They'll they'll go into the listening to the original and say, No, I much prefer the remixed version. So, yeah. Could be very different for you guys. Coming up with Growing Pains is Spudnik Sweetheart. I'm walking around on this same ground To follow the street lights I won't take these stairs leading nowhere To see what it feels like Time goes by, same skyline This is my hometown Civic Square, I'll be there Maybe just a little longer And I'll take my time until I'm older Don't ask me why I'll cry on my shoulder And I'll take my time Until 
braided to my head and I think that I've got growing pains started in my legs it's braided to my head and I think that I've got growing pains started in my legs it's braided to my Right, that was Growing Pains by Spudnik Sweetheart. What a name. What a name. There are so many, there are some bands with just the most innovative names. So, the next artist, uh, she hasn't, She, I think she's just gone with her, her actual name. And then the guy who's remixed it, however, he's put a little bit of effort into his band name. And his name is Shift Key. And is is the key is spelled K three Y. Ooh, bring what a bad boy. Ooh, ooh, key. Yeah, I feel like I'm back at thirteen year old, thirteen years old again with that with that shift keys. It's a shame that you know that S you can write with having put down six lines. It's a shame that that isn't a, a character in the typeset because boy would that get a lot of that would get a lot of use people bringing it back people bringing it forwards you know that's how we like it here then then they're gonna ever break it down quite like that but you know what they say anything goes that's what we're here for provide you with musical entertainment and non-musical entertainment but sometimes the musical entertainment outshines the non-musical and sometimes the non-musical entertainment is the only reason why people actually want to want to maintain this relationship but you never know you might you might find you enjoy the whole thing that'd be good if you yeah anyway this is becky hill has has a song called Better Off Without You. So it's a new song. It's a popular song. Ooh. Well, at least one of those is big news. For anything goes. Playing a popular song. Ooh. Not allowed to do that anymore. It's not part of the demand. Nah, I, I lie. This is quite a good song. I quite like it. So, yeah, that's why I'm letting you listen to it. Not letting you listen to it. That's a bit weird. I am advertising it to your ears through this show. So here it is.
tried to write all your wrongs. I never thought that I'd be lost, but I found the truth. I was searching for me in you. Now I'm better off without you. And it's finally clear to see that the Right, well, you heard a bit of the next song. Hopefully that was a bit of a sneak peek. You know what that so the last song reminded me of? Is so any song that Mike Price enjoys. So, I doubt he'll be listening. But if you know of him, break him into the, the show. Just tell, tell him about it. Anyway, he, he has, a, has a, a big thing... For, for female artists, kind of like Kelly Clarkson, people like that. He, he, uh, he's a big fan of, of those sorts of artists. And uh, so, yeah, that's why I think you'd like it. Maybe you guys like that sort of music. It's a very poppy sort of song. Hmm, I think we just got a... How did we get a message through? I've muted everything. I thought I shut everything down. Well, I have to apologize. Because that was annoying. You'll notice that over the last few weeks, I've been very diligent to prevent that. Ba -ba -boo! That That's not what the sound was. But anyway, if it was that sound, then yeah, I've been very diligent to prevent it. But for some reason, I uh, missed it that time. No worries, though. No worries indeed. That's what you get with anything goes. Anything can happen. So, luck of the draw. I went down to get a cup of tea during that song. You know, oh, I'm <coughs> gonna have to cough. You, see, you never know. Got a bit of biscuit stuck in my throat from when I went to get the cup of tea. So I might have come back. And the next song would have been playing, and that would have been a real worry. A real worry. But never to, never to worry, never to fear. I am back, and I am able to play the next song as it was meant to be played, after I did a bit of a spiel that hopefully kept your attention, because, yeah, I, I put serious doubts on it. Cast doubts on on it but hey if you made it through this far don't don't give up now you're only two songs away from the end isn't that a thought right so here is hard up by the bamboots Looking down their nose at me 
Right, I hope you enjoyed a bit of that funky, jazzy sort of music thing that just happened. It seemed to be... It's by the Bamboos. And from the album, it looks like... Well, it's a brand new song. But from the album art, it looks like it's a... Everybody recorded, or at least the band members, were all in a in a sort of online video conference to record this track. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll have to watch it on YouTube. Maybe check it out. It's called Hard Up by the Bamboos. Um, you might learn more about exactly what went into that song. I don't know. This is not something I'm certain of. Again, we're 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 getting we're getting through the songs. I'm doing a lot of talking though. There's 38 minutes of songs, and we're 52 minutes of show through. So I've done something like 14 minutes. Nope. Is that how maths works? 14 minutes. One quarter of your life listening to the show has been me speaking. So I hope, I hope you've enjoyed me speaking. Well, we've got two songs left. One, and, uh, so the next song is called How It Breaks by Rich Alk Al Alcoin. Rich Alcoin.
Right then, that was, that was a good song, wasn't it? It's called How It Breaks by Rich Orkentine. Or coin. I quite like the uh, the throwback to to uh, the sampled the sampled part. I can't remember who it's sampling. Let me let me just let me go to the section and then I can tell you. No 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 no. Oh yeah, I see. I read the news today, oh boy. Who's that by? I'm not sure. That's a bit confusing. I would have thought I definitely know off the top of my head who, who sang that. But turns out I don't. So anyway, we're moving through that. Has everybody here been on TikTok? Maybe... Maybe it's not everybody's cup of tea. It certainly wasn't my cup of tea before I found it. Now I spend far too much time on it. Not not creating TikToks, just watching him. I'm a TikTok lurker. I don't know what a TikTok lurker is called. A viewer. Standard, standard operating procedure in TikTok. I feel like I'm young again with it. The average audience is like probably I don't know, fifteen. Yeah, I feel makes me feel young again, as a person coming up on the quarter century. But there's quite a few catchy songs, and so I've sort of decided to steal some of them. Well, just one of them because the rest of them I don't think I could. Yeah, I don't think I really want to play, but one of them, very catchy, comes with a dance. Haven't done the dance, but it does come with a dance. Everybody seems to be able to get their parents to do these dances. And I, yeah, my parents wouldn't do anything like that. So, I don't even think I really want to ask them to do it. Good on the, the people who do, though. Must, must have been difficult. Or maybe their parents are just very up for things. I don't know. It's a weird thing about TikTok. I, yeah, not not something I could uh, easily figure out with my with my family. I'd have to do it solo, I think. But not an issue. Not an issue. I could I could be inventive and do things solo. I think maybe not. Probably not actually. It's quite difficult to be famous on TikTok. Fun fun fact: I have one of my Facebook friends. He's he's famous on. Well, I say famous. I've seen him twice on the on the viral feed. Guess that makes you famous. Does that make you famous? I don't know what makes you famous on TikTok. Yeah. Anyway, this is a song from the TikToks. I wonder how the artist feels about it being like the main song on TikTok. Oh, probably pretty good. But he's not seeing the money for it, so maybe not so good. I don't know. I don't know how that license works. Anyway, it's Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. And I'm going to leave you with, with that song as, as my finale. So, yeah. Next week, we, we might venture into the live space now that I've, I've done one song, one show offline. That'd be exciting, wouldn't it? Okay, well, here you go. This is Blinding Lights by The Weeknd.
Thank you.